Yeah, I feel I feel very good. I'm really optimistic about the season, and uh, you know, I, I think every game and every practice, I get a little more comfortable with the coaches and the style of play over here, and um, just really excited about being here in Santiago and being a part of Oberdoiro. Yeah, for sure. Uh, my dad played a big role in that, but he never forced me to play basketball. He kind of let me uh, fall in love with the game. And I think it was uh, when I was probably 11 or 12 years old that I really, really started working hard at basketball. And it was something that I wanted to be good at. And I, st I grew really fast. I was tall when I was 12 years old. And so that kind of helped me realize that I wanted to play basketball and um, just I kept getting better and better every year and um, you know wanted to succeed. You know well I, I grew up going to uh, Brigham Young University games um, because he played there and so I, I was a BYU fan growing up and but I never saw myself going there. I wanted to uh, get outside of Utah and go to good uh, you know experience something different uh, but I, I I took a good look at lots of universities lots of different colleges around uh, around the United States and uh, I, I just felt really really comfortable for some reason with BYU I kept coming back to BYU and uh, just felt like home there and felt really comfortable uh, you know I, I talked with lots of different people, and my agent talked with lots of people, and every all the new all the feedback that we got, all the everything that people were telling us were really really good things. Um, you know, they said Santiago was a great great city, a great town. Said the people were very very friendly, um, and then the the obviously the club and the basketball had a, a really good reputation as well. And so I, all those things uh, kind of helped me make my decision. And, uh, you know, my dad, yeah, he talked to some people and, and got really good feedback about uh, the team and the style of play and how I would fit in. And, uh, you know, we heard good stuff about, about Mancho Fernandez and uh, the type of basketball he wanted to play. And so I think it's worked out great so far, and uh, we're excited and optimistic going forward. Yeah, so I, I'm a member of the, the LDS Church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Sometimes we're uh, known as Mormons, and so I, I served in a mission for the church, and uh, uh, you serve for two years, and, and you fully devote your time to that service. And so, uh, you know, every day uh, you're on a pretty tight schedule, get up in the morning at 6.30, and then most of the morning is, is dedicated to studying. You study the scriptures and study the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then, and then you just go out and talk and serve the people and, and find people that want to learn about Jesus Christ and want to follow his teachings. And, and so I, I saw lots of very, very cool things and lots of you know, great changes in people's life because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, you know, also in doing so, I, I met so many cool people. And I mean, the Filipino people are so humble. They don't, they don't have a lot, but they're so happy and they're, they're willing to give you everything. And they, they're always trying to feed you and they're always trying, trying to get you to come to their house. And, they're just very, very nice people, and uh, I, I loved every second of my mission. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I made that decision, yeah, when I was when I was a, a child, and I always wanted to to serve a mission. You know, my dad served a mission, and uh, my grandparents served a mission, and so I. You know, I saw their examples, and I saw the, the the great experiences that they had, and and I and I wanted to experience that, and I, I felt like, uh, you know, the gospel of Jesus Christ has blessed my life so much, and I wanted to to share that with other people. 
it came back really fast. You know, I, I felt really comfortable pretty quick um, after I started playing. Um, but I, so I got back in, I think I got back in April and we didn't play a game until, you know, October. And so I had a good six months to, to really prepare for the season. Yeah, when we have free time, you know, I, I do like to rest a little bit. I need, like, we're, Mancho's working us pretty hard, and so it's nice to rest. But we, we do like to get out and go see, um, you know, different beaches. And uh, we go to A Coruña a lot and, and go shopping. And uh, we, love, we love the Torre de Hercules. Uh, we, we visited there a few different times. Um, we've been to... Uh, the Cathedral Beach. Uh, we, we like just getting out and taking cool pictures and seeing the beauty of Spain. Spain's, it's beautiful here. Uh, I do a little bit. I, I, I like following college basketball um, just because I was in it last year and so I follow that a lot and I I follow the NBA a little bit. Um, I'm trying to get more into football over here. Uh, everyone says I need to make decide whether I'm Barcelona or, or Real Madrid. <laughs> it can't be both. Uh, I have to go with Utah Jazz, right? I, I mean, I, I grew up going to those games, and uh, I think Utah is going to win for sure.